Zauerbeck Sitikov didn't just beat Kyle Dake at the World Championships, he beat Kyle Dake at what Kyle Dake is best at, the chess wrap. I'm JD Reader, and I'm gonna show you how Sitikov beat Dake's chess wrap. Let's check it out. So here you see Sitikov attacking. Now, I wanna draw a point to this. His head is to the outside. He's attacking Dake's ankle, and his weight is down on his heels. Right there, that's very important. Three things, because take a look at what happens when you don't do that. When you shoot head to the inside, attack high. Here's Nolf versus Dake from Final X. Nolf's head is on the inside. He's attacking the back of the knee. And look at all this space right here between his butt and his ankles. His weight's high. And Dake's just gonna crumple him to the mat. Nolf just folds. Kyle Dake gets his takedown. You wanna go back even further, 2017. Classic Dake here, huge match against Jordan Burroughs. Look how high Jordan Burroughs is on Dake's leg right here. Head in the inside, and look at all this space between Jordan's butt and the mat. His weight is really high, even higher than Nolf's, so Dake doesn't just crumple him, he sends him for a ride. Dake plants his feet, boom! Four points for Kyle Dake. So, rewind back to Sitikov. Sitikov keeping his weight low, again, attacking that ankle, keeping his head to the outside, putting Dake on his butt, not allowing him to readjust now. Take a look at this. As soon as Kyle Dake breaks his lock, take a look at this elbow right here, that bicep area of Sitikov, because he's gonna use it to block Kyle Dake from regaining his lock on the chest wrap. Forces Dake to go to the crotch lock instead of the chest wrap, which is advantage Sitikov, allows him to float over top of Dake, continues to pressure in, gets his takedown. Now the last sequence of the match, again, Sitikov goes underneath and pause right here, because look at this. Sitikov, again, head to the outside, weight low. He doesn't just attack one ankle, he attacks two ankles, which allows him to put Kyle Dake on his butt. Again, continues to pressure forward into Dake, remaining on the ankles, picks up two points. Dake will get points in this sequence. Like I said, he's still the best in the world at the chess wrap, but Sitikov wins this sequence. So, let's review the three steps to beating Kyle Dake's chest wrap. Step one, head to the outside. Step two, attack the ankles. And step three, keep your weight low. It also helps to be insanely athletic like Sitikov, but even you can do it if you do those three things. That's right, I can beat Kyle Dake, you can beat Kyle Dake, Anybody in the world can beat Kyle Dick if they just do those three things and they watch this video, like and subscribe and comment below. That's how you beat Kyle Dick.